So good morning, good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day of broadcasting here on the die of the Liberia News Agency on the segment day of Panorama. This morning we are here on the Bushu Island to be specific at the intersection of Jimmy Caro and that of the main street leading to town to the Gabriel Top of Bridge and Grand Duala. We are here bringing you live live ceremony into the groundbreaking of the 6.5 kilometer road, 6.5, the rehabilitation of a 6.5 kilometer road from Freeport to the Singapore Bridge here on the Bushu Island. So now we One, have two, the two. Minister of Public Works right here, One, Madam Ruth Book of Collins, the Minister of Public Works. So this is ceremony of So it is a privilege to gather at this time here along the Bushwood Island for the official groundbreaking ceremony for the reconstruction of the free pool Simple Bridge 6.5 kilometer. So like I said, this corridor is the Bushwood Island corridor most around the county. Today is Thursday. November 24th, 2022. At this juncture, we will invite Mrs. Fitura K. Neron, Executive Assistant in the Office of the Minister for an Invocation. In Jesus' name, can we call him out, please? Father, we thank you for this occasion. We thank you for our country, Liberia. We thank you for our president, oh God, and we have come to say thank you also for all those who have died out to grace the occasion. We thank you, oh God, for the timely implementation of this in Jesus' name. Thank you so very kindly. Without much ado, it is my distinct pleasure at this moment to invite Madam Superintendent, Superintendent of Mosserado County, Honorable Flores Brendan, who will do the official welcome goodbye. Thank Honorable you, Sue. Thank you. Um, Councilor Frank Rusadi, Minister of Justice and Head of the Cabinet, Madam Ruth Koka, Minister of Public Works, Deputy Ministers, Assistant Ministers of Public Works, Government Officials here present, Mr. Tommy Oti, Managing and General Manager, MTMC, members of the Folk Estate, ladies and gentlemen. Today marks another historic day in Montserrado County. As for the groundbreaking ceremony that is taking place here today, from the uh, Freeport to the Simple Bridge Corridor, this is a um, historic and one of the most important projects in our county. This district is a, one of our commercial districts in Montreal County. And we know with the reconstruction of this road, it will help to ease the traffic congestion in our county. We want to thank the President His Excellency Dr. George Weir for taking up and trying to reconstruct this road because we know how much traffic it has been causing to our people from the free port to the support bridge. We just want to say thank you and thank you to the public white family too for prioritizing this project. We want to also call on the community, community dwellers. This is our project. We want you to take ownership. We want you to be a part, play a positive part while the project is ongoing. We also want to call on the company to please offer jobs to some of our young people in this community. Because when projects like this come about, the young people look forward to getting something to do for them. So we just want to say thank you. People of Maserado County, this is our project. We must take ownership and see how that we can play our own role. Thank you again, Madam. Minister, the Minister, and to His Excellency, we can now emphasize how important this is. Thank you so much. So, On behalf of this voice. county, Masurado County, the peace-loving people, 
the most political county. We want to say you are all welcome. Welcome to history in Nigeria. Welcome to the developmental agenda of this president, who is always thinking how best, what can we do to improve the livelihood of our people. Thank you so much and welcome to the program. That was the voice of the superintendent of Maserato, Honorable Francis right, Francis, so calling on community dwellers and where I was in my daughter round of applause. We have come to celebrate. This is another milestone. As well progress as has been made on the, the corridor, corridor, the corridor. corridor. So we have come to celebrate. The young so at the juncture, we will now invite Honorable Amos Wa Bassi, who is the IT Deputy Minister for Technical Services, to do the official. Brief project briefing. Also, I want to stand on our system protocol. Um, on behalf of the ministry, I want to also say thank you for your presence here. So, um, so um, just an uh, overview of the brief of the overview of this project. The project itself is a 6.5 kilometer project. Uh, as you all know, the contractor is an NBFC that has to be a library popular. This corridor we have, we still have the four lane corridor, that means two going to cover, and we also have uh, a pedestrian walk with a lot of uh, drain on the side, both ways. And uh, also, we, we also have to express that the contractor also has to receive his advance payment. And, um, as also, you also know that uh, the bridge of uh, the people to the bridge project, um, and it will be that of two four. We have both the asphalt component and that of the drainage component. So, we uh, will say, uh, hats off to the contractor, but we also know that uh, you are accountable to this government, not just the government, but this people. We want to also say we will hold you accountable for every works and be carrying out the other corridors. So, once again, um, that is a great job of accountability for about this project. So, thank you again. That was the voice of Honorable Amos Wab Bagley, an official right. of the Ministry of yes. Public Works, giving an overview of the project the right here. Yes. Services, Honorable Amos Yabahulu Bagley. So at this juncture, we will now invite the contractor for special remark, Mr. John X. Jaboti, General Manager, MDMC. He's the CEO for Thank you very much. The MDMC. Today is a very blessed day. And that we are standing here today to have a groundbreaking here. And so I say thank you to Almighty God. Honorable Minister of Justice, Thank you, Minister. I'm the acting president of Liberia, the superintendent of Maserati County, the Minister of State, the Minister of Auto Works, other dignitaries here present. We will inform you that as our company, MDMC, we don't believe in failure. We believe in whatever we do to be successful. And we can assure you that this road, when we're done with it, it will be comparable to that of the Japanese freeway. This road initially was intended to just do to just do a little upgrade. That is a quota as it was. We just overlay that is the quota and uh, poor drainage. After our study of this road and given what we know over the years, that would have been another waste of money. So it was suggested that this road should have an alternative design. So we came up with an alternative design, thank God, to the wisdom of the minister of public works and other ministers, the authority design has been accepted. That is to be, if not, equal to that of the Japanese freeway. And of course, that's 
That's extra money. The Japanese swing rate each kilometer is around $3 million. What we are to do here, each kilometer is going to be around 1.2. Okay, 1.2 to 1.5 million dollars by kilometer. Remember, this is a four lane, four lane road. It's not like any ordinary road. When we did a traffic count on this road, among all of the roads in Liberia, this is the most busiest for our traffic count. So if this road is not done well, in five years, it's going to sink back. So from our alternative design, it is agreed to the wisdom of the Minister of Power Works that we elevate this road. Because if you drove on this road during rainy season time, you will see that the road is flat. You don't even know which one is the road. The whole road is covered with water. So when we're done with it, trust us, that will not happen again. And we didn't even stop there. We decided to give the biggest uh, precast drain for this road. If you look there, gentlemen and girls, excuse me a bit. Hello? These are prefab drain we, we done. They will be placed on both sides. And it will rise above the ground level. We'll back for it and take all the necessary engineering precaution. So when it rains, the rain will wash up into the drain. But we also found out that during the war, some houses were built on the cross drain that is giving the road problem. So, Madam Minister, we come to you so that you all will deal with those people who got their houses on the drain that is giving this road problem. We also found out that LEC, the LEC uh, pole, light poles, some of them are in the right away. Now we're talking about four lanes here for one meter medium. So that you will not just be crossing every which way. We also have been told by the Ministry of Power Works that, for example, at the Jamaica Road Junction here, there has to be a waiting lane. That is when we get here, the lane should be three lanes instead of two lanes. So that cars that we bear, they will start going up the road from that way about 100 or 150 meters so that they will not block the road, the traffic keep moving. And so the, all of these have been suggested by the Minister of Power, but of course they come with costs. So at this time, Mr. Acting President, the Honorable Senator from uh, Bombing County, the Honorable Minister of State, and Chairman of Public Works, I'm sorry, Mr. Superintendent, the Minister of Public Works, we assure you that we will deliver. We will work here day and night to make it possible. We also express our thanks and appreciation to the Ministry of State for giving us space at the Free Zone Authority so that we'll be walking this time to the protest site. That we take our hand with us. So, having said all of this, I show you that after this groundbreaking, the work will start. Even though before the groundbreaking, we have made it possible to make sure the road is pliable. All those that were here before we signed the contract, now you can drive through and so on. So we say thank you very much. It is very hard here. Let me not take up your pleasure time. Thank you very much. So that was the voice and of, of course, the CEO uh, of the please, company that is. I have a very good engineering team here. The job uh, to implement as you can see here, the project. they are mixed up of John, you go technocrats. Yeah. I mean, engineering-wise. Okay. All of these people, we have our project manager, we have our chief manager, responsible for everything. We have the director, our project manager. So you're going to see that we are working in this place here. We prove to you that the Korean company can do well as well. We thank you very much. This company is a hundred percent like Korean company, and they are deliver on so many things. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. John, General Manager at NTS, I can sense that you are very, very overwhelmed. Thank you so very kindly. At this time, we like to invite.
and the representative that will be the chair chairman of the Joint Legislative Caucus or Joint Legislative Committee of Public Works and the chair for Public Works at the Senate, Honorable Edward Bedu Snow, is in every alacrity to represent the committee. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Minister of Justice. Chair of the Cabinet, Latin Minister of State for Presidential Affairs, Minister of Public Works, Street Tender of Mansur Valley County, Java Engineer, members of the media. We're very happy to be here this morning. Uh, I told the Minister yesterday that normally when they're second, they don't want us to come to the program to schedule on Tuesdays and Thursdays. They're supposed to be on the session. But because of the importance of this group, uh, the program was very magnanimous nice to, to put our session up to travel club to enable us to attend this program. We are said thank you for that. We want to take this time and understand to extend thanks to you for stable leadership at the Ministry of Public Works. Since we were elected by the police in the Senate to chair the Committee of Public Works, and since your referral the subsequent confirmation and appointment by the President, you've proven to be one in the building. Your passion for this job, your technical knowledge, and your love for culture uh, speak to the character. We were very pleased. The president made no mistake in appointing and made it a view to head the ministry. Not just the technical aspect, but even the coordination of you and your colleagues at the ministry. Uh, every time I visit the ministry, every time I talk, I see the level of work with coordination. I'm very pleased that the president made such a decision. So, since the chair of the cabinet, I think chair of the cabinet is here, we'd like to. To him to ask to inform the president that the Senate Committee of Public Works is extremely pleased with the leadership and the Ministry of Public Works and will continue to pay for you our fullest support. As we back to the contractor, when the president spoke to this country a little over four years ago, maybe five years, he said that we will not be spectators. Most time I am crossing that like period time, but this is, for example, this is the testimony of the president's speech. But this is perhaps one of the biggest uh, road projects, like the contractor just said, the volume of vehicles that that is moving, the highest in the country, and that the Ministry of Public Wealth will trust a Liberian agent, a Liberian friend, to do this one. I think it speaks to. What the president said when he said that like, will not be spectators in the world. So, we want to thank the president for his vision. We want to thank him for living up to his word. And as a contractor, we have no doubt. We've been in this business for many years now. We have seen your handwork, we've seen your projects around this country. And we know that even besides your commercial aspect of your work, the love for country cannot be. Emphasize. So, as we commence this work, I want to wish you well and rest assured that we give you our fullest support. We will work with you. I'm happy the Minister of Justice is here. We will talk about the during the other days. I'm sure the law will take its course. The right the decision will be taken in line with the law. And we have this work. Whatever you need to do, whatever cooperation you need from the Senate, please don't hesitate to contact the Minister. So again, we want to say thank you, thanks to the government of Liberia, thanks to the Ministry of Finance, uh, the World Fund. This is Liberia's money. We are putting our money to the development of our country. And again, we want to say thanks to the next day. Thank you, Mr. Everybody. That was the voice of Honorable Everybody. Thank you, Mr. 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 Everybody. Th
private. This is my second time to apply for a project. This morning, the health minister called me and said, the project that you broke ground for in Baku is ready for dedication. So I want you to call me one of these days and say the project, the part of bringing ground is completed and we're ready to move. I'm making a reference because it's a joy to be a part of something I don't feel. The Ministry of State, on behalf of the President, as the Senate Chair on the Public Works said, his goal is to get Liberians involved in the development of Liberia. And this is what you see here today. So as uh, Acting Minister of State, Mr. Chairman of the Cabinet, Acting Chair, we happen to be a part of this team to break ground for the implementation of this project. There are a lot of other projects that are in the pipeline. And we pray that at the soonest possible time, this project will be dedicated. I do want to thank the team for public work, the team, the, the chair on the, the city committee on public works. We started helping you already when you went to us in the morning. We want you to give us place to start to do our own work. We didn't hesitate. Go to the free zone. Take any space you want to take. We don't want you to say we don't have where to go to the project site. So you are now close to the project site. Day and night, I expect you to work. We are by March 20 or, or May 2023. The project is killer. Then we move on for the campaign. So thank you with your team. We want to thank God for every one of you. Again, thank you, Mr. Chairman. So that was the voice of the acting Minister of State for President Joe Mr. Chairman, Minister of State. Well, at this juncture, we will call and we will move to the colleagues, the fire brand and workaholic proper works minister for social revival. Chairman of the Works Committee of the Senate, our co signatories, and all other government officials, including our own Minister of State, our Chief Minister of State, Mr. Lucia, and all of my colleagues of the Ministry of Public Works, including the contractor and the city of the Today we are here, very, very much happy to form part of this first time making. We are very much glad because we know. The inception of the world and the person talks have been this room. And it took us some time to come back to this room because we were selling so many things. That we all know this road is beneath the water level. When the real water comes back on the road, and there are a lot of things that we were considering. So today we are here to break ground to forest start. We need to consult all the factors involved to have the road perfectly built. So we have come along with our team from the Ministry of Public Works. We have come to tell the world, tell the public that we are fully prepared to get this race started. Like the contractor said, like the contractor said um, other ways are by by pretensions or by uh, committed to us. We want to use this video to also caution you that if we need any effects, we will start visiting all the corridors and we'll make sure that if we are spotting all the corridors and stopping the progress of this hobby, we will please allow you to move. Thank God, our Justice Minister is here, who is the acting chair for the cabinet, is investing to us. So, uh, we all to respect, uh, our Minister, we will come to your door because we will be moving with force to remove our people. When I say force, that I will beat them. But we'll come to them, appeal to them, appeal to them, because we want this project to be finished as quick as possible. By the matter of fact, this project is about 24 month project, 
and that was the first objective of six months. So we need this part that we'll be moving in 5G for our people. <laughs> so let me not forget to say, uh, it was special recognition, recognition to our final guests so who are actually super us in making us a rich school today. And the giant of all giants, the viral of medicine, our president, every day he thinks he thinks about this role. Bishop Rich is not a role the president has talked about every day we have conversation. So Mr. President, I know wherever you are, today your dream is 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 a, a become a reality. Today we are breaking ground for that road that you thought would get built 10, 15 years ago. We are here today to say, Mr. President, thank you so much for the support that you've been giving us and for the support that you have given us. So even come to government, we will say thank you so much, Mr. President. And to the community dwellers, please give this contractor all of your support. We want you to work along with the contractor to make this project a successful one. That we said, we'll give you all of the time to remove from the alleyways. There's another support that we are expecting for you. We are expecting you to encourage your sons, your daughter, to work along with the contractor, wherever they should not pass, they should not pass there, they should not take away things from the project corridor. We will use this, we will also step on that. And to our contractor, I want you to note, our president said uh, that we will be spectators in the whole country, and this is an evidence that we are improving today. But nevertheless, our contractor, we will monitor every step along the way in the term now of the project. No building columns, every step that was on the floor for the design, we will monitor it and please take note that don't take it to be personal, but we personally monitor this project that we are doing it. So, uh, our contractor and take it to the team of our brain that are supporting this project and to our team of the mission followers. And that's the time for us to tell our thoughts. We need over every day to visit, to visit our project sites. We need to monitor our project, our supervisor, you need to stay firm. Let us not be friendly to work with the contractor. I'm not saying you should cause this, but let us be friendly to our decision, to make our decision firm so that the contractor will know that what we say saying is a very serious one. So I will say thank you and may God bless everyone of us as we start this project. Thank you. Thank you. That was the voice of the Minister of Public Works. Mm -hmm. So we can arrive at the, what I will turn the essence of our gathering here. And the main message to execute that is not out of or a sort of friend, most of the base of justice acting chair of the cabinet, acting president of the Republic of Liberia, who will make brief feedback, followed by a symbolic ground. Thank you, everybody. The Honorable Edwin and Mary Snow, Chairman of the Joint Legislative Committee of Public Works. IT Minister of State, Honorable uh, Wilson Bambo, and um, Minister of Public Works, and your uh, assistant deputy ministers, our dynamic superintendent, the our contractor, Mr. Yubote, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I know for sure that the president is very, very, very happy today. We did indicate to him that the groundbreaking will be this morning. He sends the greetings and his love. You know the passion for development, especially for road connectivity. You know that he hates to see bad roads. And so every time he went by this road, raised an issue with the Minister of Public Works 
and the relevant agencies of government. So today we are breaking ground for this very important road linking several commercial districts and heavily used by our people. We want to congratulate the contractor and we are glad that he himself has placed emphasis on excellence. He says to us, this road will match the Germanese freeway. The freeway is right there, it's not far. So every time we visit here, we we'll also pass by the freeway, or we we'll pass by the freeway before we visit here. So that uh, the comparison remains in our head. And if we saw something, then I thank you, Dr. Wolf. But if we observe something, we will say, Mr. Contractor, is this how it should be? Madam Minister, is this how it should be? This is a furtherance of government's pro-poor agenda of prosperity and development. The agenda is about the people. It's about improving every aspect of the life of the people. Do you know the importance of rule, to the economy, to safety, and to every other aspect of our existence. We want to call on all the agencies of government, the AEC, the police, and everybody that will be connected with the work here to cooperate and operate with the Ministry of Public Works. To the public, we appeal to you there will be diversions. I don't know how many. Please respect the decisions and the rules that will be made. They are only for your own good, and they are only intended to accelerate the pace of the work. For those of our citizens who are built in the wrong place or places, we will try to meet you in whichever halfway we can. But for the good of the public, we will have to leave those places. So today, we are pleased in breaking ground on this road. It's very important road. And So that board has called Prime Minister this so now stand on the ground that we now go to AC for it and make it for the construction of the six point five kilometer road from the free port of Monrovia to that the same port of Lagos. Before we do, we have to call the Honorable David Minister for Administration for the vote of thanks. We would like to recognize some other officials at the Ministry of Public Works. I see Assistant Minister Milton Dennis, who is Assistant Minister for Community Services. I also see Assistant Minister for Administration Jay Jefferson Jesse, and of course, Assistant Minister for Construction Honorable David Slavery. So at this time, Honorable Joseph Victor, the 
stage is now yours. Thank you very much. So, Honorable Thor has now taken the stage for a brief remark. The Honorable Minister of Public Works, the Auditor of the Cabinet, the Honorable IT Minister of the Ministry of State, our Dynamic Minister of Public Works, Mr. Rupert of Collins, Honorable Senator, Senator Eddie Rabbit Snow, or how I can count it to be today. This is for the venue. We want to, on behalf of the Ministry of Public Works, the entire team and the Ministry of Public Works, our Minister, we want to say thank you for coming to this program. I would like to say to the communities, Kuala, Mokin Town, Nuku Town, Brave, and all the other communities, including bombing and Cape Town. The son, the president, is fulfilling his commitment to you. Because I'm the past friend, I want to say thank you for coming to the program, and we look forward to inviting you people to the rapid cutting, where they will be turned over to the public for use. Thank you very much for coming. So, so now we come to the end of this program marking the groundbreaking ceremony for the week. For the reconstruction, for the reconstruction of the road here from Freeport of Monrovia to the Simpop Bridge, so the rear was a reconstruction that we have finished. So this stretch, let me just give you some information about this stretch from the people of Monrovia to Simpop Bridge. From people of Monrovia to Simpop Bridge is a 6.5 kilometer road, and it has been funded by the government of Liberia to the National Road Funds and the contractor for the implementation of the road is the MDMC Construction Company which is a 100% Liberian company that have, that have implemented so many projects on behalf of the government of Liberia and other private entities across the nation. So the MDMC has a past vast experience of road pavement in Liberia as well as as part of project, this company was a waste management company that later on transitioned, that later on transitioned to a construction company that is a civil engineering construction company. So let us get what the they are the so let's see what the CEO of MDMC John, you, you put it say. So the CEO of the MDMC company was just giving an insight of the project where he showed this this concrete this to be used and this a solid solid concrete that is going to be used on this stretch this six and five kilometer stretch from the freeport of Monrovia to the Simple Bridge. This is actually the reconstruction of this road. So to all of our precious viewers, we say thank you very much for tuning in to this broadcast. Earlier on, you just saw the official ceremony for the ground breaking of the reconstruction of the free production of the road corridor, which is a 6.5 kilometer of road, and it is being funded by the government of Liberia through the National Road Fund, and they implementing partners or the contractor for this project is the MDMC of 
Upon your question, like we were a company that have vast, vast expertise in road construction, for the fact of the matter, they have taken on many projects across Liberia, which include the asphalt pavement, gravel pavement, and so other projects across Liberia. So these are the real, real technical as it relates to road construction. As the president rightly said, like we are home-based spectators in their own economy. So the awarding of this contract to this hundred percent like the company is a clear indication that the president main business that like we will no longer be expected for in their economy. So to all of our precious viewers watching this broadcast, we say thank you very much for tuning into this broadcast. My name is Ibrahim Ashton Sherry reporting for the Lagua News Agency. So we say bye bye.